hear the sound check. And I know oh, musicians right. don't like that, but yeah. as a fan, you're kind of did going. Did you hear the sound check? Uh, I did just for a couple of minutes because oh, we right. walked up, we walked up early and we were, there was no one in the place because you oh, weren't right. talking yet because yeah. you were doing a late sound check. Yeah. And I go, jeez, that sound, the band yeah. sound. Not having heard you with a band or heard yeah. you live outside the sessions for you yeah. uh, before, and it was fantastic. No, it, it always seems to come together because we don't really rehearse because the boys are in Cork, you know, so they'll come up for the gig. Really? Right. Yeah, you know, we don't kind of have a rehearsal. Right. Um, but it works, you know. It it's certainly just, does. There's a lot of listening done on stage. Yeah. And that's that's. There's how more work involved with a band, I suppose, in that, in that regard. There is. I mean, I'm off now to the UK. I have two gigs in the UK uh, at the end of this month. And then I'm going to Holland. I have four gigs out there, but I'll do them on my own. I can't afford to make a band, yeah, you know? Yeah. But um, it's a different kind of gig. You just kind of, it's more like what I'm after doing there now, like playing, yeah. like, the, you know. But that works. It does work, you know, you know yeah. And you ha that's the legwork. That's me doing the legwork. Hopefully that the next time I go over, I can bring the band, you yeah. know? So where exactly are you playing? And how did, how did you secure those days? Because well, it's hard to break through, Yeah, there's, there's a, a kind of an Irish festival happening in uh, Liverpool. And I was out in Liverpool last year. I did some gigs and I did, I get, get a lot of radio support in Liverpool, both on BBC Merseyside and Seven Waves. Hello, Tony James, if you're listening. And uh, lots of local radio, you know, are playing playing the songs, like, you know. So um, I just got in touch with the crowd that were running a gig, and I said, is there any chance at some stage? And I said, well, actually, we have a gig in, a, in an art gallery and uh, if, 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 as part of the Irish Week, if you'd like to come along and play. And I said, absolutely, I'll be over. And then I just happened to say, any chance, I, there might be a piano there. And he says, well, actually, it's the only gallery in Liverpool that has a grand piano in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. Yeah. So that's on the, and, yeah. I'm, and, and I'm lined up to do a BBC Merseyside of a session with them as well, which also they have a grand piano in their studio. So that's all looking nice. And then two nights later, I'm up in Chester in uh, Alexander's, it's a, it's a, which I'm delighted about because it's a, it's a music venue. Do you right, know what I mean? okay. Yeah. And um, I have a full gig there myself as well. And we'll, so we, you know, we'll plug the gigs when we get over there, like, you know. And uh, that's thanks to Graham Ashmore. He's put the gig and Alexander's together for me, yeah. which is great. Because you need someone over there, really, don't you? To you do. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, when it comes to putting the posters and things like that, like, you know, and, mm. you know, getting it out to, to the ether that the gigs are happening. Now, but, like I say, Seven Waves and BBC Merseyside, they're plugging the gigs, which is great, like, you know. So so hopefully if you build on that, you know, it could back maybe in the new year or even Christmas or something. Yeah, it's clo close together. Yeah, so like you build up bring, ahead of yeah, steam. And I might bring one musician with me or something. Stretch like that, it out a bit and so gradually, then, yeah. then I'm going to Holland and I have two gigs. I know there's a guitar player over there who just happened to get up, asked me at one of the gigs. I was in Holland in June and... Um, guy said to me after one of the gigs he said because I was playing the same venue the next night as well and he said eh, is there any chance I could bring my guitar and play and I just kind of went <laughs> well somebody had said to me he's very good right that. okay okay so he said yeah so he walked in the next night with a, a 63 Les Paul stuck oh, onto the desk and he was absolutely fantastic like absolutely brilliant and was he playing along with you or did he yeah, do a set he his just, own set no he just sat behind me and wow, playing musically it. behind me it was lovely so he's doing gigs at me and all right, okay. so he's on the ground over there. so again no rehearsal no well you see the, the age of CDs and MP3s you can yeah, yeah, yeah. he has the album I gave him the albums on the night and I said look if I ever come back if you're into it and he, yeah I'd love to so wow. then I have a gig up in uh, Herdevec I think it's called and that's part of another festival which is in a church with a grand piano so, landing on your feet. Well, it's just, it's just. Do you know what it is, uh, Frank? It's, it's just great to know that the music can travel. Yeah. That's it, and that I can. Uh, yes. <laughs> if I can indeed. find my way out yeah. of the train station or ship the airport, <laughs> you know. Um, but it, it, it's just nice to know that, like, the, actually, somebody bought the album this morning, uh, from Germany, who was at one of the gigs in Amsterdam. That's incredible. She didn't just didn't have the money on her on the night. On the night, yeah, know? yeah. So it's good to know that. Um, the music travels, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and that it, it, people get it, you know. Well, listen, we, we've run out of time. I'll only get one more song in before okay. we go. We do I Believe in Love. Yeah, that yeah. sounds great. Yeah. I, I it's, getting, it's getting a lot of, no, we do on the CD. CD okay. It's actually getting a lot of airplay. It's, there's a radio station over in the UK, Smooth FM, picked it up and they're running with it and they really like it. So you don't, it's like, you don't know which one it's going to take, you know, and, yeah, because you know, it, it, it's, I've always found that. I, yeah. I'm going, that's a great song and it's never a, a hit yeah. single. So yeah. I'm the wrong pe yeah. person to so say. So it's just, 
you know, but it's quite a popular song on the album, actually. Okay, we'll play that now in a second. The album is, is called Such a Beautiful Life. It's track two. Uh, laugh, please. We're going to laugh. <laughs> That's the way she reads them out with the gig and everybody laughs. So the gig is this Saturday night in the cherry tree. Please, please come along. October the 2nd. Yeah, I can personally guarantee you a fantastic night of top class music. Absolutely. Right. Thank Celine, you, Frank. It was great having you in the, the session suite again. We will talk soon. The pleasure is all yours as usual. As always. <laughs> Till next week on the session suite, good luck, Wendy.